Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, April 20th, and it's 6.12 p.m. Oh, it's later than I thought. I wanted to share something that was in my email that was uh, forwarded to me by Patricia, um, one of the Patricias. Um, and it says, okay, this is really interesting about the number 40, and I'm sure a lot of you know that 40 is a significant number. But this is this is really cool and also gets into the 2020, the year 2020. And why is that significant? Okay. This person said, Good day to all. I am in prayer that all are doing well and holding their own during this quarantine time we are going through. I was sent this informational piece by a friend and thought it might be interesting for you to read as well. And then it says, Albany Christian Church, 13 hours. Now, I don't. that's a link, and I don't understand why that's on there. But anyway, uh, perhaps the person goes there. But anyway, it was forwarded, and now it's forwarded to me. So it says, think on this. Lockdown began March 23rd at midnight. Now, that may be where they're at. It was March 23rd. I am i couldn't tell you what day it was here. But anyway, and now extended till May 1st. That's exactly 40 days. Something is strangely biblical. Quarantine. The Latin root of the word quarantine is 40. Think about it. Quar, we use the word quarter for, uh, well, it's not 40 cents, but it's, I forgot the significance I thought about qu a quarter. But anyway, the Latin root of the word quarantine is 40. So what does the Bible say about 40? The flood lasted 40 days. Yes, the water poured for 40 days. I've seen this used a few times. Some people seem to think that it rained for 40 days and then the ark settled and they got out. But they were actually in the ark over a year but it did rain for 40 days. Okay. It took a while for that, all that water to settle and go somewhere. And it moved lands apart and made the oceans and stuff. Yeah. And water's heavy. It does a lot of damage or whatever. Okay. So the flood lasted 40 days. 40 years Moses fled Egypt. Right, he fled Egypt and stayed away 40 years. And then the Lord told him to go and get his people freed. For 40 days, Moses stayed on Mount Sinai to receive the commandments. The exodus lasted 40 years. Yeah, that's because of their lack of faith to take on the Canaanites the Lord punished them by saying everybody 20 and above would never see the promised land. They had to wander in the desert for 40 years. So for them, it was not just a time of testing. It was basically a punishment. But anyway, they wandered in the desert 40 years. Jesus fasted for 40 days. Lent is 40 days. Now, that is only for Catholics. I mean, if I knew some people that went was in my small group from a, a kind of small community church that was non-denominational. They came from not Catholicism, but they practiced Lent. I remember the boys 
who were maybe 12 to 14, uh, talking about giving up uh, sweets or something. I forget. But anyway, so that came comes right from Catholicism, but they do have a type of fast for 40 days. 40 days for a woman to rest after giving birth. I don't know where they got that. Technically, it's six weeks, which is 42. But maybe in the Bible, that's what it says. And nowadays, doctors tell you six weeks. But anyway, a group of theologians thinks the number 40 represents change. Okay, it is the time of preparing a person or people to make a fundamental change. Something will happen after these 40 days. Just believe and pray. Remember, whenever the number 40 appears in the Bible, there is a change. Please know that during this quarantine, Rivers are cleaning up, vegetation is growing, the air is becoming cleaner because of less pollution, there is less theft and murder, healing is happening, and most importantly, people are turning to Christ. The earth is at rest for the first time in many years and hearts are truly transforming. Well, I sure do hope so. So during this time, enjoy it with your loved ones and return to the family altar together. Family prayer is a great blessing. Through prayer, you will see the changes God can work in you and in your home. Christ promises us that everything works together for the good of those who love God. That's Romans 8, 28. Remember, we are in the year 2020, and 20 plus 20 equals 40. Also, 2020 is the year of the United States Census. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, was born during a census. 2020 is also perfect vision. May our sight focus on the Lord and living according to his perfect vision for us, knowing he holds us in the palm of his hand. There was 40 days from the time of the resurrection of Christ and his ascension. Acts 1 11. This Jesus who has been taken up into heaven will come in just the same way. He is coming extremely soon. See, I believe when he comes back down and touches his feet on the ground, that's his second coming. That's not what's happening extremely soon. The first rapture is going to happen extremely soon. Those not ready will repent and get ready. And I am thinking it's 40 days after. They have to go through a time of testing and tribulation because they weren't ready. They didn't believe. They mocked and scoffed. Even though they believed in the Lord, they were Christians, they go to church. Well, they did until now. So have they turn to their Bibles or are they on Facebook more? See, it's going to prove their love. <clears throat> How much do they love the Lord? They got time to show Him now. No excuses. May these days of quarantine bring spiritual liberation to our souls, our nation, and our world. The best is yet to come. Trust in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then it says, copied. So, that whoever started this, 
forwarding copied it from somewhere else, maybe from the Albany Christian Church. Anyway, it was interesting reading, and it does bring out the number 40 and how important it is. So it's very feasible to believe the second rapture could be 40 days after the first one. I pray that it is, because so many are not ready, and I would hate to see them go through much. But they will probably get hungry and thirsty and hot. Summer is coming. And without air, without power, you have no air conditioning. Air conditioning you, uh, says they will be hot. They will have been crying because their children are gone. And life is hard, but they know not to take the the mark of the beast and it may not even come about until after those 40 days that's what I'm hoping I don't know that for a fact okay thank you Trisha for forwarding this to us and I pray that it blessed everybody um, I do want to plead the blood of Jesus over it and over the internet connection, myself and my computer, and over each and every one of you, and all your devices, and your internet connections. And remember to turn your Wi-Fi's off at night and when you're not needing them. Don't let those microwaves or whatever waves comes out of it that makes all of Makes the cell phone work with less data. Makes the computer work. Uploads the videos. Lets you watch them. Wonderful technology. But I'm convinced it killed my dog. I'm just convinced. It's dangerous along with cell phone use. Putting those things on your head and into your ears. That's Bluetooth technology. I have headphones that have it. I rarely use them. I used them when there was a wedding across the street. That could be coming up, but still, it was only for a couple hours. People that wear those all day, I don't know how they can stand it. Having the cell phone reception coming so close to their head. It's not good to talk on these cell phones right up next to your head. Use your speakerphone whenever possible. Okay? That's just a little extra advice for no extra charge. Okay, bye for now. I will talk to you later.